sitting here trying to get um, 30 agility and I changed my username to Ben Kenobi because <laughs> Obi-Wan Kenobi is my favorite character in Star Wars so I went ahead and made my hardcore name Ben Kenobi because Ben Kenobi was taken but this account is such a noob I thought it was perfect. Okay I should be getting 30 agility here. I don't know I'm getting agility up so I can kind of like start soloing winter taught a little bit better without running out of run energy because that's driving me up the wall I mean it's not a big deal but you know I um I wanted to bring something up that only my closest um friends have noticed is that I've always been a big fan of Star Wars and if you notice my main account's name is Sarthon um, which is a very Sith-like name, and yet I named this account, as of today, a very light side name, which was from the original trilogy, um, and yet it has a red helmet. I don't know if, but a lot of people don't notice that stuff. I make a lot of Star Wars references, um, involved in my RuneScape playing, and oh my god, I keep falling. Okay guys, so I have decided to do waterfall quest. It won't uh, affect my, my HP or my hit points for winter tot, so I thought I'd go ahead and whoops! I just totally whined that or scared that dog away. My bad. So we're gonna go to Backstorian Falls. Let me get some more food and then I'll rock and roll on this quest. This is that part of the quest of waterfall quest that a bunch of hardcores can die on. Apparently the max hit is like 14, so I should be fine because I'm 19 HP. But I'll record it anyway for y'all's enjoyment, I guess, in case I mess up or something. Oh my god, there's these freaking moss giants and there's something else. I'm attacking the skeletons first because... Oh, do I not need to use that shit on there? Um, I'm attacking the skeletons first because then you shouldn't get hit by a moss giant. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. I shouldn't be that nervous, but I am. Okay. Also, when you- Whoa! How about we fuck off that shit? Okay, we're Gucci. I'm gonna get smacked by this moss giant. Oh, we're okay. <laughs> I knew I wasn't gonna die, but I don't know. You probably should always be overly cautious. They also said to grab an extra of each, but I didn't, so whatever. I didn't die, so I didn't think I was gonna die, but I recorded it just in case. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna finish up the quest. It could go wrong, though, because if you don't put the ruins on the correct pillar, or if you don't basically the chalice the amulet and you don't do it all correctly it can kill you instantly with like a gush of wind or something so i just have to be careful and read the triple read the instructions all right so one erin one earth run, one water run. okay Okay, we need to use on the statue of Galerial. We need to use her amulet. And then I need to use this on the chalice. Thank God I did that right. I said the room shook and I was like, I shook. I was like, dude, did I mess that up? Seriously? Nice, finish the quest. So as y'all can see, I'm 29 combat and my attack and strength are 30, but my HP is still the same and that's why it shouldn't affect you with Winter Tot, thankfully. So I've decided to go ahead and get my thieving up. I'm gonna do fruit stalls at Zaya, similar to my ultimate Iron Man. Um, getting thieving up is good for like master farmers later up and stuff like that. And I mean, it's just easy levels, you know, so it's like, why not? Okay, so it's been like a while since I've done this, but you need 15% favor for um, fruit stalls. The way I'm gonna go about this is, um, 
I bought 200 compost, as you can see here in my inventory. And I'm just going to use the whatever the heck you're supposed to use on it to give you favor when you turn it in. I'll show you what I'm talking about, but I think 200 will be enough for 15%. So there are these compounds of salt petri. That's what it's called. And you use that on the bucket of compost and you turn it in, but there's a bank deposit box here. Basically, I'm just going to get like 200 of these salt petris. I probably already have a ton from Winter Tot. I can't remember. Well, regardless, I finished an easy task for Corin, but um, so apparently that's a task. But anyway, yeah, that's what they are, salt petri, and I'm gonna get some of them and use them on the compost and then turn them in. And I think you turn them into the chick. It's like right here in this house, but that's a really reasonable way to get favor. I think it's like the fastest besides cooking, which like you can't start cooking for like the Hostidious house until like 30% favor. Holy nanners, you can't even do this salt petri and compost bucket till 5%. We'll say doing this at low farming isn't too bad. Like I did the plowing, you know, you see me plowing. We hating, some about white and nerdy. Um, so yeah, it's decent farming XP if you're super low farming like me. I got a couple levels, so that's nice. Uh, there are some wolves and skeletons and stuff, so I always have like a piece of food or two on you. So, if you want to turn in these buckets, these are like the sulfur mounds or whatever that you can, or the salt petri mounds. I think you turn it in here. Um, who, who's the chick's name? What? I haven't done this in forever. I did this on my main like years ago. Who do I, is it this bucket? What? I forgot who I talked to for this. Why are you gay? Dude, I swear to god they moved this chick. I swear, they've changed those cities like four times since I've played this game. It used to be like over here and now it's in the center. I swear. Because like, I did this on my regular Iron Man years ago. I am not crazy. Give me that. Yes. Okay, wow, I'm already 12%. Honestly, let me just turn in the rest I have. That is so much easier than I thought. Shoot, I'll just get some salt petri and turn this all in and get a little bit more than 15% and then I'll go, you know, like why not? They've changed this so much. Like favor is way faster now. The locations are all different. Mind blown, dude. So a lot of people ask if I still play my maxed iron. Uh, regular iron and I still do um, right now I'm fishing lobsters on it and basically chilling with the lower levels fishing lobbies for the heron pet um, apparently it's like the best rate or something and uh, yeah I was going for the lance for a really long time which is why I wasn't playing my hardcore but I mean I'm like 1300 KC at Hydra and still no drop but that is just iron main life so I thought I'd take a break from that and play the hardcore a little more. Bro, we just got a maze and these mazes are like the shit. I have no run energy. I don't think run energy matters though. I can't remember. Basically these mazes, if you're an Iron Man, you want to do these because the loot is amazing at lower levels. Um, the faster you solve it, the better the loot. So let's do this. Okay, we're good. 70 something percent loot is pretty good. Let's see, I, oh god, it wasn't that fast, but let's see what we get. Um, I mean, for doing a random event, guys, 100% worth it. 75 death runes and all those feathers, you know, you could be using that for like fishing, fletching. That's amazing for lower, lower level material, especially those steel arrows. Banging. So the thieving XP here is amazing. You won't get interrupted by any guard dogs or whatever. Um, this location is here. Pretty great. Uh, 25 thieving required. Uh, another great thing is that you can get these strange fruits, which is like dank run energy since you can't make like run energy potions for a while. And you also can get these Golovanova. How the heck do you even pronounce that? It's like a 1 in 100 chance to get this 
Golovanova fruit, and you can make a pie out of it, and it gives you plus four in crafting, I believe. So it's not as good as the plus five for spices, but it's still pretty good. So in my opinion, I'm like looking at what you need for like protecting trees and I see that tomatoes, apples, and oranges are a big one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some baskets and fill fruit um, baskets for farming. I feel like that that will be useful because it will protect some of my trees. It's something I just thought about right now. Oh, and these baskets can just be bought at farming stalls. You can get like a ton of them for like 100 GP. It's like 100, pack of 100. Also for fruit trees, there's like strawberries and bananas. You can kind of see the kind of stuff that you can have. Um, bananas are really easy to get though off of um, Karamja. So that one's not as big of a deal as the others in my opinion. So as y'all can see here, I'm just stealing the fruit and filling the baskets. And um, apples are actually really important. You're going to get a ton of them here. But these apple baskets are going to be perfect because in the long run, you can use them to protect banana, tree see or banana trees and also, I believe, willows. So it's like that saves you a bunch of time later trying to get stuff to protect your trees. I don't know. It just seems like a no-brainer to do. Um... But yeah, I have a ton of these in my bank. It looks so pretty, all the fruits. But I, I think in the long run, it's going to save you a lot of time. And uh, you're getting thieving XP anyway, so might as well do it, right? So I got um, 40 agility. And I was like, well, I can't really train agility unless I go to Kenneths to do rooftops at level 40. At least that's what I want to do next at some point. So I was like, let's knock out Priest in Peril. I'd assume most people are familiar with Priest in Peril because it is the quest that you need to complete in order to get to to the side of RuneScape that is basically Mauritania, which is a huge section of RuneScape with awesome content. And it's one of those quests that are just like, you should do it as soon as possible in the beginning of your account because it unlocks great things. So you can save spot the monk of Zamrock level 30 in this quest and the dog. You just have to be careful in how you do it. You can use these pews in the church to save spot the monk of Zamrock. All right, priest and peril completed. We got the wolfbane dagger and some prayer XP. Uh, oh man, and we still have all of this commentary. Ah. Okay, I don't really care. Um, 21 prayer. Nice. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of episode 3 of my hardcore Iron Woman series. I'll catch y'all next time. If you guys want to give me a follow on Twitter or Instagram, anything like that, you my um, social media platforms are in this description below. I'll catch y'all next time. Thanks for watching and please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you are interested in seeing my future episodes and make sure to put those notifications on.